Now look at my back. His legs are so close. Keep your legs close. You cannot. And that's what I'm looking for. Now I got the wrap. I'm going to adjust right here. Bring your legs out. Very hard. He might try to go for my feet, but I'm going to keep my feet kind of tied. Very hard for him to get my foot off. By the time I'm coming in, I'm already working for the tap. So what's going to require for this move? Obviously, some athleticism, right? That's what I was kind of hesitant to show at the beginning. But nonetheless, you have a free day to play with. It's just something different. It's a new idea. Bring it in. Now, if you're kind of having a hard time, come real slow. Make sure you get your hand right here. Boom. You know, bring your leg up as you sit down. Close the feet. Very important. Keep my knees tight. And this is what's going to cause open my back on the mat. Boom. I pinch. Control the leg. Wrap. Lapel. I feed it real deep. I come up to grab my lapel. And now I extend back up to the finish. Very nice. Normally, when he locks the leg, lock the leg right here, the person in my position is going to get up. And they're going to turn one way or the other. And that's going to expose it. You know? On the street, I mean, the guy's got food right here, whatever. He'll hook right now. It's not practice. He'll hook. It's for safety. So, whatever the top leg is, we're going to wrap that one. Let me try one, please. Wrap the top leg. When you guys make your base on the stand up, don't lean on your partners too much. I see some people getting up in the base, putting too much pressure on the chest. You don't want to lean at all. Because if you lean, that means you can redirect, change your balance, swing the arms through. Okay? So hold one or hold both. And get up on your own weight. Look at this. I'm not leaning at all. Pull me down. I'm very back. I stand up. Boom. And I stand up. I'm holding my own weight. You see that slide? I yes. love that slide a little bit. It's very simple. It's just something a little yes. hip extension, so to speak. Yeah, just get my hips up tall and I can Boom. Bring it over, no problem. Yeah, and just the whole idea of the sit down, how I'm showing, about the block and the step. All you have to make sure is that when you throw your leg to sit down, that he doesn't block it. So if he shields your leg, and I sit down, I'm going to sweep you on top. That's all that you're really concerned with. So you just have to make sure that when you do make that clearance, maybe if you have something to where you make sure that your leg comes inside, or you know, you just know the path of your leg. You I want to do that by factor of surprise. Because I just really expect it to come. So yeah, boom, boom, right. you're done. So if you guys see this move, if you guys try it right now live, you guys don't know it's coming. Um, some people try to threaten the toll. Put luck right there, grab the toll on this one. It's kind of a weird angle for it to be effective, you know? Because of the way the foot is positioned right here, so it's limited squeeze potential, limited effectiveness. Go back. Especially if your legs are cross, it's going to be hard. But uh, keep it tight. Like Han said, hold these knees. When you bust the body back, you don't want the foot to slip out of your arm. If he pulls this out, problem. So stretch it and pinch everything right here. And then whichever side you fall to, hold, open the knee a little bit to allow the wrap. The little knee spread allows my hand to get in there easier. Now I got any questions? Pinch here and pressure. Pinch here and pressure. Normally the pressure looks like belly down, right? But in this one, as you notice, we're just kind of belly up to the sky because of the way we have the leg. And this is very unique to have both of your legs outside, crossing in and pinching here tight. This is very unique in the sense that normal foot lock positioning is here, where you have one trap in the middle. And uh, but the only reason it's allowed is because our feet are crossed, and we know we're going to keep them pinched together. That's why it's okay. Either straight ankle lock here or heel hook. Stand up, make sure your feet get in there before your butt hits the ground. Your feet aren't in front of their body before your butt hits the ground. At least one leg. At least one. At least one. And that's actually going to the ground. For sure. Try it in slow motion. Let's go. Help your partners out. Let's go. Yeah.